Could Moses have written the Pentateuch before any king reigned in Israel? This is an often used argument against the authorship of Moses. They say this could not have been written before the kingdom of Israel was established, before any king reigned over the sons of Israel. The argument is taken from Genesis 36-31. This text, before any king reigned over the sons of Israel, seems to support that it was written after the time of Moses when there were kings in Israel. Does the text really support this conclusion? I found a comment on this in the Pulpit Bible Commentary. Pulpit Commentary says, Verse 31 And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom, before there reigned any literally, before the reigning of a king over the children of Israel. In the Hebrew no indication of past tense is given as if the kings had ruled already, literally translated before the reigning of a king of the children of Israel. The grammatical structure does not support the idea that there were kings already. There is nothing in the original Hebrew words expressive of past tense or indicating that a king had reigned already in Israel. Were the Israelites expecting a king? Yes. I will appoint a king over me like all the nations who are around me. This is based on Deuteronomy 17.14. Israel expects kings in the future. Genesis 36.31 is pointing to the future, when they will be kings in Israel. There is nothing in the original Hebrew words expressive of past tense, or indicating that a king had reigned already in Israel. Israel expects kings in the future. Genesis 36.31 does not support that Israel had kings already. Before the reigning of any king in Israel does not negate the authorship of Moses.